What's up everyone? It's your boy Giovanni the G35 fam back at it again with another video on the channel. So like always guys, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, do me a favor, subscribe right down below the video. Like always man, hit that thumbs up, share this video, hit that notification bell, be in tune with the G35 fam and you know you'll get some great content guys. So that being said guys, been talking too much. So Let's get this video started. So guys, if y'all saw the title to today's video, I am going to be installing some blue tint on my side mirrors. I've been wanting to do this for a minute now, um, but unfortunately, the uh, last product that I tried on this little uh, modification I guess you can say um, it didn't go as planned if you want to check out that video check it out right up here I'll put a card but uh, yeah I really wasn't satisfied with that product but you know I hadn't seen any videos on YouTube on it so you know if I can try it out on my car and if it works out it works out if it doesn't it doesn't but at least you get to see what it looks like so yeah that one didn't work so I ended up just having to go this route with the blue tent. Now, unfortunately, uh, being that I have a G35, there isn't tent that you can just get on these cars. Um, you're going to have to get it custom made. So luckily, I uh, went to this website called Itsy. I came across this seller by the name of Prius Prime EV. Pretty much what they do is they customize blue tent to either customize your rear view mirror or your side mirrors so all you got to do is just give them your make year and model of your vehicle and then uh yeah they emailed me back this guy named thumper or this person thumper uh pretty much said you know all you got to do is just give them some pictures of your side mirrors and then as you can see once they had pictures of your side mirrors they send you three samples to use like as templates so you just you know from the email print these out and then use it as a template to fit the perfect match for your mirrors which i really liked i was really shocked and surprised that i got those three samples and to use them as a template right then and there i i, I was really thinking i was gonna have to wait or you know purchase the product first but uh yeah that was pretty cool um but i did let them know that i was gonna promote their product on the channel um, being that like I said man I was trying to find blue tent and I wasn't gonna get a whole roll of blue tent and then try to customize it myself uh, being that they customize it you know right then and there uh, that that's pretty cool and if I could help y'all out and help you know somebody else out that'd be cool right there so yeah that's why you know I said I would promote their product but uh, yeah that being said guys I'm really excited to do this little project being that uh, I do want to get this little modification, I guess you can say, because uh, I, I honestly think it looks a little bit sportier when you have blue tint on your side mirrors. And then uh, also you can use it to your advantage when uh, at nighttime to prevent the, you know, the anti-glare from, you know, the uh, cars with their brights on behind you. It kind of eliminates that glare and that brightness. So, you know you can utilize it for two things for the looks and you know to prevent you know brightness in your mirrors so that's pretty cool but like always man i'm ready to get this project started so let's see so what we gotta do it comes with instructions so if you need to know what uh you're gonna need for this project it has it all right there as you can see a squeegee which i have right there and then some uh dish soap tape paper towel and uh a quart bottle spray I mean I just got this from the dollar store I already put the uh, soap and water in there the dish soap got a paper towel some tape and then these are the uh, blind spot mirrors that I'm gonna use because uh, you know they come in handy and I already got these with the blue tint on it so I'm gonna put those on and then of course these are your cuts so I'll just have to figure out you know which one goes on what mirror but for the most part guys uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get this project started. So uh, the first thing you're gonna do if you look at your instructions You're gonna want to prep everything and then uh, of course, you know clean the surface of the mirror So I'm gonna do that right now So the next step you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to soak the mirror Let it soak That way when you apply your tent you know you can move it around if you have to it makes it more you know absorbent to the mirror 
and it, you know, binds with the, uh, you know, the soap. It's just like doing tan. And then what you're gonna want to do is one side has a uh, a little lens, as you can see. So with some tape, you're gonna want to tape it on there. That way uh, you can remove it. But the tape that I have is not really sticking. I already tried to, uh, you know, put the tape on and to lift it up. So what I'm gonna do is I just lift it up a little bit. So once I, you know, apply this on the uh, mirror. Uh, I can line it up and then I'll be able to remove it so I'm gonna do that right now all right so I peeled it off wasn't that easy that I thought it was gonna be but now with my squeegee I'm just gonna take out this you know bubble and everything should you know be pretty good so I'm gonna do that right now uh, you can see the freaking tent I'm getting bit up over here by mosquitoes. Let me put some bug spray on. All right, sorry guys, I was getting torn up with mosquitoes. So, put some on them. Just like that, guys. just get all the air bubbles out it's kind of like putting on a screen protector if you ever did that you don't want any dirt or anything in the uh, in the back part of the lens so just making sure everything's pretty good and that's pretty much it guys so I'm gonna let it uh, sit and dry and then uh, we'll see how it, the final look alright guys so before I even you know put these on wanted to show you what they look like so I mean you can see the one on the driver's side looks pretty good pretty good and then here's the one on the passenger side now there is a difference in the cuts that I notice and I'll show you all the difference so the one with the passenger side guys it was a little bit more difficult being that this cut was like perfectly in line with the uh, you know the cut of the mirror Maybe just right here, as you can see, it's off a little bit. But when I show you all the one on the driver's side, you're gonna see the bigger difference. Uh, this one was a little more difficult with the bubbles being that, like I said, it's like perfectly on the uh, mirror, like lined up, kind of overlaps a little bit. As you can see, I didn't really do that good of a job. But let me show you all the one on the driver's side. So the one on the driver's side, guys, if you can see, it has like around the whole mirror, there is like, I want to say like an eighth of a gap. So it's not, you know, perfectly cut, but I honestly like the way this looks a lot better than the uh, passenger side. So I don't know if, you know, it was, it's meant to be like this or meant to be like the other way. But I honestly like, you know, how it looks like here, being that um, it was real easy to uh, apply the uh, lens and all that without any bubbles. Unlike the one on the driver's, or uh, on the passenger side, it was a little more difficult being that, like I said, it's flushed perfectly with the, uh, the outlining in the mirror. So, all in all, guys, I think it looks good let me know in the comments down below like I said I'm gonna install these and then that's pretty much it so if you know how to do tent then you know uh, how to do tent you don't have to listen to what I said but for the most part that's what it came out like guys so like always man it's your boy Giovanni I'll see you on the next one peace